In this video, I'll show you how to use the discriminant to determine the number of roots for any quadratic equation. The discriminant is the part of the quadratic formula underneath the square root symbol, b squared minus 4ac. The discriminant tells us whether there are two solutions, one solution, or no solutions at all. If your discriminant equals to zero, there are only one real root. If it is greater than zero, then you have two roots, and if it's less than zero, you have no real roots. Let's go ahead and tackle A. The question asks, determine the number of roots for each quadratic function. To do these questions, and we do have many examples, you have to identify your A, B, and C terms. So let's start with A. Our A term here is equal to one, and I'm referring to the coefficient of the x squared term. Our b term is equal to negative 10, and our c term is equal to positive 25. Now what I'll do is plug in these values into this expression. b squared is negative 10 to the power of 2 minus 4 times 1 times 25. Negative 10 to the power of 2 is 100 minus 4 times 25, which is also 100. So it's like saying 100 minus 100, and that gives us 0. Therefore, for this particular case, there would only be one real root. Let's move on to B. Here, our A value is 3, and our B value is 0. Our C value is negative 75. Once again, plugging these values in, B to the power of 2 minus 4 times 3 times negative 75. Now notice, 4 times 3 times 75 will give us a number greater than 0, and negative 4 times negative 75 will give us a positive value. So without using our calculator, we know that there will be two real roots. Let's move on to C. In C, our A value is 4, our B value is negative 10, and our C value is positive 25. Notice that our C value is not on the same side as all the other terms, so we would have to bring this over, and therefore it's positive 25. Once again, plugging them in to the formula, negative 10 to the power of 2 minus 4 times 4 times 25. I know if I calculate these three numbers, we'll get a negative number more than 100. Negative 10 to the power of 2 is 100, so I know I'm going to have zero real roots in this situation here. Now, in case you don't know how to rationalize or reason the way I just did, you can always plug this into your calculator, and you'll find out that the number is less than zero, and so you can conclude the same thing as I did. Let's move on to D. This time, my A value is 1, my B value is 4, and my C value is 20. 4 to the power of 2 minus 4 times 1 times 20. This will be a big negative number, and this is only 16. So I know my final answer will be something that is less than 0, so I can conclude 0 real roots. Moving on to E. Let's see if I can squeeze this in down here. Here our A term is 4, our B term is missing, so it's 0, and our C term is negative 36. Putting this into our formula, 0 to the power of 2 minus 4 times 4 times a negative number. Negative times a negative will be a positive number, so this is greater than 0, and we can conclude right away that there are two real roots. And finally, for part f, our a term is 9, our b term is negative 12, and our c term is positive 4. Don't make the mistake of thinking it's negative 4. You have to bring this over so that all the terms are on one side and that it's in standard form. So the formula is b to the power of 2, so negative 12 to the power of 2 minus 4 times 9, that's 36, times 4. Now this will be a close one, so I'm going to use my calculator. Negative 12, and make sure that this is in brackets, to the power of 2 minus 4 bracket 9 bracket 4. And we end up with 0. I was right, it was a close one. So this is equal to 0, therefore we will have one real root. I'm going to highlight all my solutions. And there you have it. That is how to use the discriminant to determine the number of roots for any quadratic equation.
If you found this tutorial helpful, please support our channel by subscribing or by liking this video. If you have any further questions, visit our website at studyforce.com. We're an online service for students seeking free homework help. See you soon.